Hi, I'm Dave here at Core Electronics, and today I'm going to show you how to perform the first time setup of the Onion Omega 2 using the command line. Now, the Onion Omega 2 does have a graphical user interface. However, after lots of testing here at Core, we found that it can be quite buggy and unreliable, especially if your Wi Fi network strength isn't all that it could be. Uh, our recommendation in pretty much all cases is to just use the command line interface, which doesn't limit you in any way. It's easy to use, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with it in just a few minutes. Okay, let's get started. Now, the Onion Omega I've got shown here is at factory defaults, and we're going to perform the first time setup. The first step is to turn the power onto it. We're going to perform this setup entirely over Wi-Fi, but if you've got a USB dock like this one, you can complete it using a USB cable. But there's no need to. We'll do it all through SSH. Now we're just waiting for the uh, orange light there to stop flashing, which means that the uh, Omega has fully booted. This takes about a minute or so, sometimes a little longer, if the Omega is fresh out of the box. Okay, the LED is telling us that the uh, Omega is now fully booted up. And before we go over to the computer, we'll just read the label on top of the Omega here that says that it's Omega 9C34. Each Omega will have a um, semi-unique name. There's a very small chance you could get two with the same name, but it's pretty unlikely. So make note of that name on your Omega and head over to your computer. First step is to connect your computer's Wi-Fi to the ad hoc network that the Omega is generating. You'll see mine is here, Omega-9C34. I'm going to uncheck connect automatically because things go a bit smoother with that unchecked. Hit connect. Now normally it'd ask you for a Wi-Fi password there, and the default password is 12345678. My computer has remembered the password because I've been using this Omega before. All right, now we should see our Omega name and no internet secured. We now need to open up Putty, which is a free program. Uh, it's easy to download. I'll add in a link below. And now you can type your Omega and then its name. Dot local. This naming system only works if you've got Apple's Bonjour service installed. Uh, and I suggest you do install that as it makes working with multiple Omegas a lot easier. But unfortunately, it hasn't worked in this case. So I'll show you how to use the fallback IP address. When you're connected to the network that the Onion Omega hosts, you can always connect to it directly with the IP address 192.168.3.1. And that. If you see this, don't worry about it, just hit yes. Log in as root, and the default password is Onion Ear. All right, and now we're logged in. The first thing we need to do is connect our Onion Omega to the local Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna go Wi-Fi setup, or one word. We're gonna press one and then enter to scan for available networks. All right, my network is Telstra 15D8. I'll enter the password for that. All right, now Wi-Fi Manager is going to restart to connect the Omega to that network. And because it restarted, we've lost our connection with Putty, so we can close that. Wait about 30 seconds or so, and then go ahead and connect up to your Omega-whatever network again. Okay, network's fine. We can open Putty again. Enter the IP address again. The username is root, password is onion ear. 
All right, now we're going to enter the command OUP grade. I like to say it as OOP grade. This is going to check whether your Omega needs a firmware update, and if so, it'll download and install it. Before I press enter on that, I want to drive home the point that once this process is started, do not disconnect the power or the internet connection. You don't want to brick your Onion Omega. Okay, so you can see that it's determined that a new firmware update is required, and it is currently downloading that firmware file, and we'll begin flashing it to the board shortly. Okay, now it's writing the firmware upgrade. You'll see the LED on the board has started flashing. We should leave the power and the internet connected until that light stops flashing. Now, once the Omega is finished booting, it should be connected to our local Wi-Fi network and running the latest firmware. The Omega is finished rebooting, and now we can make sure that everything is working properly. You'll notice that this time my Wi-Fi is not connected to the Onion Omega. Uh, I'm just using my normal network connection, uh, and the Onion Omega should behave as an ordinary Wi-Fi client. So let's bring up Putty again. Type in its unique address. Login as root. Password is onion here. All right, I can see we're running build 160, which is the latest firmware. And we do a we can ping google.com, which means we have a working internet connection. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you set up your Onion Omega 2 in the future. If you have any issues, comments, or questions, as always, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or head over to our forum.